Elite Gaming. What's up guys, it's Andrew at Elite Gaming HQ. In today's video, I have a $600 Ryzen 5 PC build list for you. Now the price can fluctuate up and down based on sales, but these are the prices that I got these parts for, and I was thinking about doing a speed build or a time lapse video. Maybe I'll put that up next. But mainly I built this PC to test it against my $600 i5 build. So if you're interested in seeing this computer's competition, I'll put the card up here so you can see exactly what all that build entails. And for the testing, I used an RX 480 and an RX 470. I put a benchmark video up for those two cards and I'm gonna do the same with this build despite an RX 480 being in the $600 budget. So let's get into the build. So first the Ryzen 5 that I chose was the 1500X which is a 4 core 8 thread 3.5 gigahertz processor. Now I mainly chose this processor because it puts me right in line in our $600 build to compete against the Intel i5, but if you pay another $30, you could get two more cores and four more threads. Though my line of thinking is, all these Ryzen processors are using the AM4 socket, so if you buy something inexpensive at first, even if it's the 1400, in a year and a half from now, if you really wanted to, you can go ahead and buy an R7-1700 or something along that lines when it's on sale, or maybe a Black Friday sale. So personally, I really like the idea of the 1500X, and I like the improved cooler over the 1400 so that's what i got next for motherboard i got the gigabyte ga ab350 am4 motherboard personally i'm really impressed with this motherboard i like the onboard leds that it came with i also like the extra ram slots so i can upgrade in the future now on the screen you saw the price of the motherboard and i'll show you what i got them for and that is 254 dollars i was lucky enough to drive to my local micro center and get a discount on the motherboard because i paired it with the processor but i also had to pay 14 dollars in tax and bridge told to get there if you guys aren't Aren't lucky enough to have a micro center next to you well you could choose a different motherboard but i chose this one because it supports the higher frequency ram and we'll get into that in a second this was one big deviation off the intel build the ram i chose was the 3200 i got it for 79.99 and i got it red to go with our theme i chose two four gig modules for a build like this it would always be in the back of my mind that i could just reorder and get two more modules to upgrade to 16 gigabytes ryzen has been shown to have increased performance by higher frequency ram which is something that's mostly irrelevant to Intel. So for a Ryzen build, we're paying a higher premium for our RAM. But if you wanted to have a less expensive build, you would get a cheaper motherboard and cheaper RAM, and you could save yourself another $30 or $40 overall. All right, next let's talk about the graphics card. So as I suggested in the Intel build, we go to jet.com, you make a new account, you find an inexpensive RX 480, and you apply the promo code triple 15 for 15% 15 off a max of $30. This puts this Asus 4 gigabyte overclocked RX 480 at 161.46, which is an amazing price for an RX 480. As you saw in my comparison video of the RX 480 versus the RX 470, you'll see that this graphics card is all you'll ever need for 1080p in the foreseeable future. I also use a 480 to do 1440p gaming. All right, next we're going to quickly talk about our power supply and our hard drive. For the $600 budget, the power supply I chose is an EVGA 550 watts. At the time, I got a Thermal Take 500 watt for $40. Both of these power supplies are more than enough and are built with quality parts, so don't expect them to fail anytime soon. I highly recommend either of these brands, so whatever you can find for a better price, that's what you want to go with. For our hard drive, we went with the Western Digital Blue, because this is just a staple for most budget builds. One terabyte at sub $50 is an amazing deal, and most people only need one terabyte. Now one upgrade I would do on this build if you were doing it for yourself is spend the extra money at the door to get yourself an SSD, and then pair it with the one terabyte. That's an amazing setup, and I always recommend it, but we're trying to stay within that $600. So for the $600, we invested more money Money into our processor and our GPU so in this case we just have the one terabyte and next of course is your case and you don't really have to worry about case fans because most cases come with fans and you could always upgrade later on screen I'll just show you a few cases that you can choose basically you want to choose a case that's somewhere from 35 to 40 dollars so that you can fit in your budget now keep in mind at this price range I really doubt that the Ryzen processor will be our bottleneck on an RX 480 I don't really see it happening so most likely sometime in the future you would be upgrading your graphics card as games progress a couple years down the road but you would have to reassess the whole situation and I really think this processor for someone who's just gaming will be very good for a very long time but I'm going to try to prove that with the benchmarks and I'll have them out as soon as possible so guys I'll have more videos to come on this subject and after I test Ryzen 5 during gaming and under load we'll be able to compare it to the Intel and I'll give you a true unbiased build for $600 that I'll be 
amazing for gamers like most of you guys are. I understand that a lot of people just can't afford a GTX 1080 and buy whatever Intel i7 processor they release every year. So since not everyone can do that, that's why I'm doing these tests. I hope you enjoyed the build video. Be sure to hit the like button if you liked the video. And if you're new, subscribe. I'll catch you on the next one. I'm Andrew, and this is Elite Gaming HQ. Thanks for watching, guys.